Hi everyone, it's Ali, and for some reason I don't have a joke to start off this week's video. I mean, unless you count the joke that is all of our existence. It's video time! Today's question comes from commenter KT who asks, Is everyone perfect at makeup application but me? I can't put it on without messing it up. Could you do a video about how to fix your makeup if you screw up without taking everything off? Absolutely I can! I'm going to go through some common makeup mistakes and how to fix them. Woohoo! Let's get started! It's a tale as old as time. Your eyeshadow is immaculate, and then all of a sudden... Oh no! Mascara all over your eyelid! What's a girl to do? So you're going to take a Q-tip and dip it oh so slightly in eye makeup remover. You want so little on there that you can barely feel that it's damp. Then put the Q-tip on the mascara blob and gently twist it away. Right there. And twist. Excuse my beauty, folks. So this has gotten rid of the mascara, but you can see that now there are some holes where the remover took away the shadow. That's okay. Take whatever color shadow you were wearing and a small brush and fill in the holes. Make sure you blend the new shadow really well with the shadow around it. This way you won't have patches where things are more intense. Fix mascara and voila, totally perfect. You zone out, you're applying your blush and then suddenly you look like you're dying of galloping consumption. Poor Ruby Gillis. It can be really hard to remove blush without also taking off the foundation and powder that's underneath. But of course, I have a way. Hello cotton balls! Let's grab one of these bad boys and sort of pull it apart so that it's like a bit bigger and looser. Then, I use it to wipe away the blush in little circles. Remember that blush spreads and you don't want to wipe it all over your face so Keep it within the affected area. That's crazy! When you've removed enough colour from both cheeks, take a teeny bit of setting powder and a big fluffy brush and then just apply it over top. This helps to diffuse the colour even more. Blush situation saved! Sometimes you get done with your makeup, look closer in the mirror and go, crap, my eyeliner wings are totally different. So if you have a lot of eyeliner that you need to remove, just dip your Q-tip in the eye makeup remover, squeeze it out a little bit so it's not soaking wet, and then twisting up, wipe it away. all gone. Now if you have a smaller problem that needs to be corrected, grab your q-tip and rip most of its head off. Not all of it, just enough that it's smaller and you can kind of feel the stick through it. Dampen with some eye makeup remover, squeeze out the excess, and then remove the eyeliner as needed. Now like with mascara, there's probably some holes in your eyeshadow where you wiped away the liner. Grab your eyeshadow and a brush. Fill that right in. Once your eyeshadow is fixed, reapply your eyeliner. Oh my god, this is so hard. For any marks in your foundation or concealer, I just grab a little bit of foundation and a flat concealer brush. Blob a teeny bit of it on my hand and then right up to the wing just apply some foundation then blend it really well. Easy peasy. Now I love a good long wear lip colour but the truth is sometimes you f up bad. Now the same things that I love about long wear formulas are also my worst enemy because this formula does not budge. How do I fix it? Will it surprise you if I say q-tips? Probably not. You're going to need a couple of them and also a blob of moisturizer. 
Get some moisturiser on the Q-tip. Starting from the outside of the smear and working in. Just remove the lip colour. Look at how quick that's working. So now the smear is gone. Grab a flat concealer brush and a little bit of foundation or BB cream if you wear it. And then... Fix up the newly cleaned area. Add some powder. Fix up your lip colour. And you're done. And that's it. Now obviously I can't show you a fix for every single makeup mistake that ever gets made. We just never have the time. But I hope that these easy fixes have shown you some simple ways to fix up goofs without, you know, taking off an entire face of makeup. Remember, if you have a question for me or you'd like to request a video, utter a small prayer unto the Elder Gods and I will hear your words. Yeah. Or you can contact me via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, or down in the comments at ExoVain. This is my new beauty look. What do you think, guys? Is it pretty? Am I pretty? See you next week, everyone! I'm not doing that again.